Assalamu alaikum everybody. Tim um, I'm here for a special announcement to tell y'all. First hit that like and subscribe button. But I'm here to tell y'all that science can be bullshit. So-called science that they give us can be full of a lot of bullshit. You know, I was just sitting back riding and I'm sitting thinking. I said, dude, we got America locks up more children than anybody else on the planet. As a matter of fact, America has more people in prisons more than anybody else on the planet. But the part about the children part, that one is what really bothered me. Hit that like and subscribe button, y'all. Because sci scientifically, the brain doesn't even reach a high level of maturity, doesn't stop, doesn't even grow into a maturity until at least 23. 23. I'm going to say it again. That the brain does not really start to mature until age of 23. Some say 25. And I was thinking of some of the horrendous crimes that children have done, right? And when I say children, I'm specifically talking about 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. You know, I'm going to, you know, children, children. And we got this thing where we like to charge them as adults. We charging children as a, as a, as an adult, but we won't let them buy cigarettes because we know that they don't have the mental capability to make that decision. We charge them as adults, but we know we won't let them buy alcohol or a firearm because, or even join the military because we know they don't have the mental capability to make such an important decision. But if a child, if a 13-year-old, a 12-year-old snaps out and shoots his cousin, which these things happen, he should get charged as an adult. I don't know. When our children, this is the big one. When our young, when our young boys out there riding, stealing cars, driving crazy in traffic, I know we all hate it. But it's a reality that we all is living in unless you're living outside of the world or you ain't living amongst your people. We all is dealing with that crazy stuff one way or another. And a lot of us have been affected by it in one way or another as far as the crazy traffic. But when we find out the drivers be 14, 15, 16, should we charge them as adults? Because we know that these people will come and charge our children as adults super fast so they can put that F on their on their name, right? Something that's going to hamper them throughout their whole life. So we need to really think about how we um, go forward and watch these slick politicians as they try to push laws for reckless drivers. All right, because we don't want them to charge our children as an adult and make them all felonies. And then next thing you know, we got a new wave of felons of people going to get discriminated against when they're trying to get jobs, trying to get loans. Every Listen, all my brothers and sisters out there who was felons, y'all know the struggle. So we should be careful when these slick politicians who seem like they have our best interest when they live somewhere in the suburbs where they don't even deal with, they don't even deal with the shit, right? But they come in our area. We need to look out for the ones who want to make this a class A fail, who want to charge them as adults. I'm going to say it again. Scientifically, the brain doesn't start to hit an age of maturity until at least 23 or 25. Should we hold our children who making stupid decisions, because we all made some crazy decisions when we was younger, should we charge them as adults? Think about that. I don't think so. It, like all things, it starts at the home. It starts with the parent. 
we get that in order, we clean that up, then they'll get their children in line. But trying to use politicians to force our children to stop doing something that's not going to work. It's going to hurt them up in the long run. And hopefully our people who are making these stupid decisions, they wise up so they can have a long life to live. And they'll realize how dumb and stupid that they were. Because a lot of us made more, well, even worse dumb decisions when we were their age. I'm not giving them a pass on it. Because like I said, all of us have been affected by it. But I don't want these people to come in here and act like they are a friend. When they want to push strict laws against it. When these the people who stay in the suburbs. They don't even deal with it. But it starts at home like with the parents and y'all. It starts at home like with the parents. Mama, you sleep too much and you're on social media too much. Dad, y'all already know. The dad, where are you? To guide them, to get them in line. To get some discipline in them. It starts with parents. We can't always want politicians to try to tell us how to parent our children. I think it's some linked when they started to allow children to call the police on their parent. It may be some link with how hard headed that children have gotten since then. I'm gonna leave y'all with that. So if y'all believe in science, should we really charge our children as adults when they make stupid decisions? When they're young, A. And B, scientifically, the brain doesn't start to mature until the age of 23 or 25. Let's keep that in mind. Assalamu alaikum, everybody.